Along the shoreline off the tip of Michigan's thumb, you'll find Turnip Rock. Turnip Rock is a geologic formation called a stack and has been severely undercut by wave erosion. It sits just offshore from Pointo Barks, a historic gated community, so the best way to see it is by boat. Turnip Rock and other outcrops in the region are made of Mississippian Marshall Sandstone. The Marshall Sandstone is a fine to coarse grain sandstone with some cross bedding. It was deposited in a shallow sea that was often disturbed by waves and currents. In Huron County, the Marshall Formation is 450 to 500 feet thick. The formation was quarried for building stone and grindstone from the mid-1800s until the beginning of the Great Depression. Some units of the formation contain fossils. Fossil shark remains have been found in the sandstone above the beds that were quarried for grindstone. Since the land surrounding Turnip Rock is privately owned, you'll have to view it from the water. Most visitors choose to kayak from the village of Port Austin. Launch from Bird Creek County Park, Veterans Waterfront Park, or Port Austin State Harbor for a seven mile paddle out and back that takes two to four hours. You can also launch from Eagle Bay Public Access east of town for a five mile round trip paddle. You'll need a Michigan Recreation Passport to launch from the State Harbor or Eagle Bay Access. Once at Turnip Rock, you can also see a formation called Thumbnail Point and explore sea caves. Kayak rentals and private boat tours are available from local businesses. This is a long paddle, occasionally in open water. Weather on the Great Lakes can change rapidly, so make sure to check local marine weather conditions and remember that wind speed and direction can make the trip more difficult. Wear a life jacket and bring plenty of water and sunscreen. Make sure to respect private property. You can pull up on shore for a short rest or swim as long as you stay below the ordinary high water mark. The trail to Turnip Rock is part of the 103 mile long Tip of the Thumb Heritage Water Trail, so there are tons of other opportunities for kayaking in the area. Beginners and stand-up paddleboarders can view rock formations and sea caves on the Broken Rocks Water Trail that runs west from Port Austin to Table Rock. On land, you can visit Grindstone City to learn about the history of the quarries and grindstone production. You'll see grindstones along the shore and some buildings made from the stone that was quarried there. There are several state and county parks in the region with modern and rustic campgrounds and cabin rentals. 